Okay, that was a rather short gospel reading, but a very, very important one. The, the, the point is this, when are you and me, as a Christian, a follower of Jesus, not to expect to receive a thank you. Well, that's precisely what Luke is trying to let us know in this parable about the servant coming in from the field after a hard day's work. The message comes across clearly when Jesus says, the servant does not get any special thanks for doing what his master tells him to do. Jesus is teaching a good servant, a good humble servant, that's what we are, does not count on thanks for only doing what is his duty. Now isn't it the same with you and me? When we are faithful followers of Jesus and do what he asks us to do, and do what we are supposed to do, we should say, like the servant in the gospel, we don't deserve any special thanks. we only done the work we've been assigned to do. In our community of the rivers here, if we have fulfilled some duty some ministry of Christian or Christian service, we should not be looking for any thanks or recognition. No. Rather, we should have the same humble attitude as the servant in the gospel to say, we are unworthy servants we have only done what we should be doing. As a member of this Christian community, we should say, I consider it my duty and my privilege to serve as a lector, as Jeff did, and Maria, As the minister of the Eucharist, which Carmen will be doing, which is considered as a privilege and a duty. We don't look for thanks. And I should be looking for thanks for being one of the last priests, oldest priests in the diocese for saying, appreciating at this Mass. It's our duty, our wonderful duty and privilege to do this. Now some may want recognition and praise and publicity for the Christian service they do in our churches. No, not that's good. Well, we should be doing these jobs without any recognition, any reward. I should be doing that. I've been doing this now for 50, 50 some years. I consider it a great privilege be able to have mass here tonight, this 
serve you good people of the river. And Landers, everybody knows that, and Landers, made a trip to China. When she got back, she told of the fine service the Chinese servants gave. Whenever she thanked them, they would always bow deeply and reply, we, we are unworthy servants. We've only done our duty. Now don't get me wrong. I'm not saying we shouldn't thank people for serving in our churches. What I am saying is Christians should not have reward or thanks as a motive for serving. You can be sure of this it is our duty as Christians to serve without looking for thanks. Followers of Jesus are not, not to anticipate thanks for giving of their time, abilities, and treasures to further God's kingdom here on earth. This is our Christian privilege and duty, our calling because of our holy baptism. So at this Eucharist, pray, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, we praise and thank you for calling all of us to serve you with our time, our abilities, and our gifts. Help us to serve you without looking for thanks. Rather, may we say with the humble and obedient servant in our gospel today, we are unworthy servants. We have only done our Christian duty. Now let's profess our faith as we say the Apostle Breathe.